I made a mistake. I'm never, ever, ever going to make again. So, what did I think of Byron Bay? Hmm. This is beautiful. This is crazy. I love it. I made it to Queensland. But I did a naughty thing. I didn't pay. I'm not wet at all. I made a mistake. I'm never, ever, ever going to make again. I thought I would make it to Byron Bay with my the rest of my Petra, what I had. Um, I was half full, but I have a really small tank. So my light went on a few kilometers back and I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. So, uh, but eventually I did. Uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. You know, when I can fill up, I'm just going to fill up to be on the safe side because you never know. Um, anyway, it's really empty now, so I can see how much goes in there. So that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> All right, I just filled up. And I thought I had a bigger tank. It's really small. I have a 50 litre tank, that's not much at all, so if I would be doing long distance with uh, not many petrol stations in between, I will have to figure out something, I'll have to think about that. This place is crazy, I just drove into Byron Bay and it's so busy, there are so many people, a lot of backpackers that are on their way, uh, a lot of young people, so... I'm not sure if I'm staying here very long. I don't think this is my kind of place, but I'm just going to check out um, where I found that you could spot some dolphins and then I'll see. I, I don't know, I'll just see. So there's no way that I'll be staying here overnight because I saw a sign. It says no parking. Uh, at the beach, on any roads, anywhere, you can get a fine for, uh, of $1,000. So there's no way I'm, I'm risking that because $1,000 is a lot of money. Um, so I'm just going to have a little look around and then I'm off. <laughs> I made it to Queensland all right so I did make it to Queensland and I'm now going to the natural bridge that's four kilometers from here and then I'm going to Springbrook that's where I'm going to stay the night so I'll have to hurry before it gets dark because as you know I hate arriving somewhere when it's dark <laughs> all right the natural bridge I have no idea how far it is so I'm just going to have to wait and see. I do hear water, so I don't think it's far. You're not allowed to swim here, and there are penalties.
The penalty is even $375 on the spot if you go swimming in this cave, so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> The cave habitats the largest uh, the largest group of uh, glowworms in Queensland known. That's what they know. There might be more somewhere else, but and there is also a colony of micro bats in the cave. I didn't see anything move. I didn't see anything shine. I only saw the beautiful waterfall. It's a quarter past four and it's 34 minutes drive to my camping uh, place it's called the settlement camping so i want to get cracking otherwise it will be dark Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm at the day use um, area. I'm not at the campground anymore. I did stay there yesterday, last night, but I did a naughty thing. I didn't pay. I know that's bad. That's really naughty. But I didn't have a booking and I checked two days ago and there were still free spaces and as I'm not really sure where I'm staying that night, I didn't book it. So I just showed up yesterday and I looked online and it was fully booked all of a sudden. So I talked to a girl and she said, I just park over there and leave early in the morning. And so I decided to do that, but oh, I didn't sleep well because I had these thoughts of a ranger coming, waking me up getting a, a really huge fine for parking there when I'm not allowed to park there so uh, that was mistake number two yesterday <laughs> good aren't you Janie I'm not the only naughty one look at these two they're parked at the day uh, the day spot they're not allowed to stay here I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, not as in that I've lost my way, but 
Uh, Google Maps said that this is the start of the hike to Twin Falls but I don't see a sign anywhere it only says picnic area Springbrook National Park picnic area so maybe it's down there uh, I'm not sure so either I'm at the wrong spot or I'm just at a nice spot to have my breakfast <laughs> so I am at the right place after all I find I found a, so I am at the right place after all I found a sign that says it's uh, a two-hour hike uh, grade three walk 4.2 kilometers return and it takes two hours and this is what it looks like and you can walk behind the waterfall I think I'm at the top of the falls. I'm not sure, but I hear water. <laughs> yeah, this is the top. Exciting. I love these kind of places. The nature. Mother Nature, you're beautiful. Well, it looks like you can go two ways via the cave or the creek. So I'm going up, I guess. Can always go back down later if this isn't the right the right way <laughs> Not sure, but you know, if it was 22 degrees or something like that, I wouldn't mind, but it's only eight and that's pretty damn cold. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm not wet at all. From Twin Falls there was another sign to a, a waterfall. I'm not sure what it's called, but I can hear it already. 
what it's called now Blackfellow Falls and there's a whole circuit you can follow you can go to Twin Falls and then there's Blackfellow Falls and now I'm on to Canyon Lookout that's another 1.3 kilometers that way behind the waterfall and from there I just walk back to the car park I can feel it dripping from my head. There we go. Home sweet home. It's 9.30, so it took me two hours, which is not really that bad, I think. Uh, I'm back at the day use area, and I'm going to be staying here for a few hours because the sun is shining. It's a nice open place with heaps of grass. So I'm just going to put my chair out and enjoy the sun, read a book, but I have something to show you. This is what I bought myself yesterday. And I really, 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 really love it. <laughs> oh, look at this. I've got myself a little kookaburra with a hook. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. And they also had cockatoos, magpies, galahs, all all kinds of birds. And I I thought I'll get this one. I know I'll get that one. I know I'll get that one. And then I saw the little kookaburra and this was the last one. So, yeah. This is it. I'm at the same campground as where I stayed last night but for this night I did pay I went online and I paid the fee it cost seven dollars so that's not much there is a, a there is a toilet yeah there are some barbecues where you can cook your meal and I read online that uh, the second um, the second space on the right that there was a, a carpet snake um, so which one did I pull into? Number two, of course. I went looking around, but I can't find it. I think it's it's too late in the year. The, the, the snakes are sleeping. They're hibernating or whatever you call it, what snakes do. So it isn't around. That's a pity. Um, I enjoyed my day. I had a, a nice walk this morning and I just sat in the sun this afternoon and that was so welcome. Um, it's cooling down now, so it's going to be a cold night again. So I'm going to make my dinner and then I'm going to have movie night. I don't know which film I'm going to watch, but it's going to be movie night. Good morning. No snake to be seen. It's sleeping. It's too cold. It's not here. I had a good night's sleep. It's a lovely little campground. 
I really like it. This is my spot. And it's a good thing that I booked this night because I just saw the ranger. He just drove up and down to check if people paid. So luckily he didn't come here yesterday when I was here, otherwise I would have been fine. But this is the campground. How neat is that? I like it here. You can see how cold it was last night. The grass is steaming now because the sun is shining, it's on it, but it's all white over here. So that means it was a pretty cold night. <laughs> I'm on my way to another free camp spot. It's about an hour's drive from here. Uh, I did read some really bad reviews on the app, so I'm not sure what I'm going to encounter there, but it's really close to a library that's open every day, so I really need to get some editing done. So I'm hoping to stay there for three days. But do you remember the road? that really steep road that I didn't dare to drive up at first I have to go down that now because the other road that I would normally want to take is closed and it has been closed for months due to the floodings uh, of 2020 2022 so can't take that road <laughs> Up on top of the mountain, it's all green, it's lush, there's even rainforest, there's so much green and then you get down and there's this. So I stayed at Beanley for a few days and is it true what they say on the reviews? It sure is. but. You know, there are a lot of homeless people staying there, but there are some pretty nice ones out there. I met a few, um, had a few chats. And now I'm at a place called Eagleby Wetlands. And there are homeless people here as well. You can stay here as long as you like. There are hot showers, people staying over there, people staying over there. But yeah, I'm moving on. Um, yeah, as I said, I met some really nice people. One of them was Jimmy. Um, yeah, we had some really great conversations. We've been spending some time together. Just, you know, it's good to have someone to talk to. So yeah, thank you, Jimmy, for talking to me, spending some time with me. And um, I really hope your dreams come true. But now I'm off to a place uh, just above Brisbane. So I'm driving through Brisbane today. I think straight through Brisbane. I'm not interested in seeing Brisbane at all, so I'm not stopping there. Um, but I have got something planned for tomorrow that's going to be pretty cool. And if I say crikey, I think a lot of you know what I'm going to do. <laughs>